So you know how when they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? Well, <laughs> believe it. First of all, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. So you see behind me, of course, my 2015 Challenger Hellcat. It is totally stock and it's, just, it's got less than 10,000 miles on it. Um, right now, uh, it's, the map update is out of date. It's, I, I've never had a map update. So I figured, hey, you know what? They, they offer this deal where it's only $99 as opposed to $149. And by the way, it used to be $199, but with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, in the newer cars, they, they are probably losing a lot of business. So they're trying to discount it as much as they can. In any event, I wanted to do a map update on this car. And to do so, I first needed to update the Uconnect software. I had to do a software update and I had to update it to the latest, which is 18.45.01. And I did that. And as soon as I did, everything worked fine, except there was no sound coming out of the radio. And when I say no sound coming out of the radio, I mean no sound from the radio, the navigation system, nothing. Everything else seemed to work. As a matter of fact, you could see when I changed the stations, it went to the station, went to Sirius XM, went to the FM stations, the AM stations, uh, went to the, the Bluetooth connection to the phone, but there was just no sound coming out. Even when I turned the volume up and down, it, you saw the volume going up and down, but you didn't hear a thing. So as you can see, the radio's on, but when I move the volume up and down, there's absolutely nothing. And that includes the phone, Sirius XM, AM stations, everything. And there's also no, there's no sound when you hit the buttons. They don't, they don't make that beep sound or whatever you, you want to call it. There's absolutely nothing. So I started to look online and some, it was really hard to find, first of all. I, I didn't see anything that said once you do the update, you lose sound. So there was really no guidance as far as that goes. But there was an, a video on YouTube showing that, you know, the radio was working fine, but there was no sound coming out of it. And they were saying it had to do with the amp. So they, some people said, you know, you find the amp, which in some cases, in some Mopars was under the, the passenger seat, and you just disconnect the connectors and then reconnect them, and then it would work. And in that thread of that YouTube video down below in the comments, someone said, well, you know, why not just try disconnecting the fuse? I thought that was a good idea because I wasn't exactly sure where the Challenger's amp was. Some people said it was under the passenger seat. Some people said it was under the, the steering wheel of the driver, you know, way underneath the dash. So I figured, you know, why did, might as well try first disconnecting the fuse and reconnecting it. When I went to disconnect the fuse, I noticed that the fuse was, was blown. So that was actually kind of a good sign and a bad sign. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to one of the local auto stores, get a new fuse and pop it back in. And hopefully it will, it will you know, restore the sound. So that's what we're going to see. Okay, just back from the auto store and I got some fuses. Unfortunately, <laughs> It just so figures. Uh, they're low profile fuses, by the way, but they didn't have a bunch of 25s. Like they, you know, they have a package of 15 amp, a package of 20 amp, but no package of 25. They're out of stock. So I had to get an assortment and pay the money for an assortment <laughs> when I only needed the one 25 amp fuse. In any event, I um, just wanted to show you something else. Uh, before I pointed to the wrong fuse, the fuse we're looking for, the one I already took out, is the 25 amp that sits next to that 30 amp fuse, so it's right there. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to stick that 25 amp fuse in. Get it lined up just right. Oh, I think I just blew it. Yep. So it sounds like there may be a problem. Not good. Time to wrap this up. And to give a summary of, of 
<laughs> the, the final steps I took. After I blew that initial fuse, I went to three or four different auto stores in the area. Couldn't find any 25 amp low profile mini fuses for the Hellcat. So I had to go to Amazon. I ordered some on Amazon. It, they came the next day. This time I disconnected the negative, the negative cable from the battery. I put in the fuse again, reconnected the battery, and as soon as I reconnected it, the fuse blew again. One more try, I disconnected the battery. This time I, I disconnected the connector from the Harman Kardon subwoofer that sit in, sits in the trunk. I put in a new fuse, reconnected the battery, and sure enough, once again, the fuse blew. So, uh, yeah, I suppose this could somehow have been caused by the software update, but in any event, there's a short somewhere, and I don't know if I've got to follow all the speaker wires and speaker lines from the radio. Um, big pain. If anyone else has had this problem, please let me know in the comments section. Uh, this could be a big, big, big problem and a lot of work and taking the car apart or bringing it to the dealer and spending a ton of money, which I don't want to do. So in any event, that's where we're at. Um, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and like this video so we can keep them coming. And I'll, uh, I'll have to put up another video when I figure out what's going on and if I find a solution. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you soon. Take care.